Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way how to modify or hack existing raw images from your Fujifilm cameras and apply the latest and greatest Fujifilm film simulations that you'll be able to find once again in latest and greatest Fujifilm cameras such as X-T4 or X-Pro3. Now for this exercise, for this video, I am using Capture 120. This is my go-to raw image processing application on a Mac. I really like this program, works really well, and it's pretty fast. Now, I did actually try to do the same thing on Adobe Lightroom, but for some reason um, it didn't really work so well because Lightroom couldn't import those modified raw files. I'm still working on it. Hopefully I'm going to be able to figure that one out. But again, for today's exercise, we're going to be using Capture 120. Uh, there is basically uh, only one other application that uh, you need to install on your PC or Mac, and that's Exif Editor. Now, again, this one comes in two flavors. If you're running Windows or if you have a Mac, I have a Mac version. Um, the app, it's not free. I think it costs about seven or eight dollars, but to be honest with you, I think it's well worth of investment because you can unlock a lot of stuff um, especially if you have older Fujifilm cameras. Now I'm going to go back to this EXIF editor. Um, before I start, I have to mention one thing. Uh, if, um, if you're working on Capture 120 and um, if you, let's say, have uh, Fujifilm, older Fujifilm cameras, such as in my case, X70 or XE1, um, everything works okay. But the problem is, as you can see here, for example, uh, this one actually shows as X70 image, generic, um, so it recognizes the camera. But the problem is if I click on curve, so this is the section you will find all those film simulations. It only comes as extra shadow, high contrast, film standard, and linear response. I really couldn't figure out why this Capture One basically reads or cannot read uh, those native film simulations that come from the camera because um, X70 definitely uh, you know, comes with at least about seven or eight of those. Um, on the other side, Lightroom definitely does a much better job um, recognizing uh, native film simulations per se. So for example, if I open the same file in Adobe Lightroom, um, I can basically pick from Astia, Classic Chrome, Pro Negative High, Pro Negative Standard, Provia, Velvia, and of course, Monochrome. So um, EXIF1, as I mentioned, is a very simple, very easy to use application. And the first step in this process is to uh, import um, these files, raw images from three different cameras. And I put it into this raw um, X70. I call it X70, but there's like a three different cameras in there. And I'm going to click open. So right off the bat, like a, if I go and select any of these images, Exif information will be displayed on the right hand side. So I know this one is basically captured on XE1 camera. Uh, this will be X70, um, XT2, and so on and so forth. So basically, uh, at this point, we know that we're dealing with three different cameras. Uh, one thing I have to mention about Exif Editor uh, you can modify a single file or you can do batch process. Batch process is really cool because if you import a large number of files, let's say 100 or 200, uh, you can apply the settings basically to all of them just with one click of a button. So that's really, really cool. That's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to select all six raw images and I'm going to change only one. Uh, particular parameter and that is camera model name. In this case, I'm just going to type XT4. So right now I'm going to click process. Um, application is pretty fast. These are the results and that will be pretty much it. Now, if I click on any of these images, as you can see, it reads XT4. So basically that will be it. Uh, from Exif Editor. You don't need to do anything else. I'm going to minimize and I'm going to go back to my Capture One. In this case, just for sake of showing these differences, I'm going to go into New Session um, and 
let's call it new session three it doesn't really matter what name you pick here and I'm going to import those same files now we're dealing with modified files uh, those that we change the camera name so it will take probably about 10 15 seconds uh, for capture one to import these and here we are so we're done so I'm going to click again on the same image that uh, you know we we had before but this time if I click on ICC profile as you can see uh, X7 is gone and it's replaced with XD4 generic so first step it's pretty successful now curve is the one that basically shows all film simulations and if I click on that here we are right now we have all film simulation color profiles that you will find in latest xt4 fujifilm camera um, acros of course that's not native to x70 camera we can pick that uh, we have classic negative we have eterna cinema uh, interna bleach bypass and so on and so forth so basically at this point we can apply any of those uh, color profiles to our x70 um, raw images uh, I can do the same thing like I, if I pick this image from XE1 of course again it's showing XD4 and right now I can for example apply um, you know Eterna Cinema anyway that's pretty much it guys um, I hope you find this video informative and helpful if you have any question put it down in a comment section and I'll be happy to respond once again um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next one. Cheers.